Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. We've got a matchup where time of possession will be a focus. The Seahawks are top 10 in rushing yards, and they're going up against the 49ers team that will need to keep the running game in check. With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. up there 26 yards here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley and that play goes nowhere taken down losing yardage at the 50 right at midfield it'll be a loss of one and that'll bring up a second and 11 Wilson. A man over the middle and it's complete. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. Give him 30 yards there. And the offense lining up first and 10. zone now. Here's Wilson on first down. Being chased out left. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. On second down, here's Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tucker roll that they can fall back on anymore. And the offense needs seven out of this play on third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. That's complete, right around the eight. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. On first and goal, Gurley. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It's going to be interesting to see. Offensive lines have to... And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Jermaine Kurz with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. That'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback.
Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to make it second and 14. this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 they got 18 yards out of that one and it gets him a new set of downs doing a good job upstairs. They'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. it past the 45 and down at the 46. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. down game it's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs nice job keeping that opening drive alive and they're in plus territory that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down they did big time pickup for them and now i think the aggressive play callers think to themselves this part of the field i take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone it gets condensed Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And here comes play number six on this drive. Play action. It's Garoppolo. Man open left side is Brown. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, just keep going. We're doing pretty well. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that's going to be incomplete. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end is going to be a favorite target. Couldn't hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Set! Three, 19! On the 
toss play. Howard. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. And some extras coming up on the line here, readying for the blitz. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. Well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Hurry up, here we go. Three, nine, three. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field, and got his man complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. They give him a gain of 38. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin. So the offense has it first and ten. Tight end right, tight end right. Four down, four down. Right, right, right. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Sua Cravens with a pick, and a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Let's go! Trying the right side with Howard. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. This is Howard on second down. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Here we go now. Green 
They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Hurry up, here we go. On play action, now Garoppolo. And his throw here is incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, and it's third down. So not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it and... He gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. The Niners on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Garoppolo again. That is caught inside the five. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Marquise Goodwin, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Pinion now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals. All right, number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for everyone possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. A big play there on the catch and run. 63 yards. Down, it's Gurley. And he's able to find some room as they get him down after a good run. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. On second down. And this is incomplete. The intended receiver there was Janu Smith, and it's third and short. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Third and two, now Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Todd Gurley with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Bryant now to tack on the extra point. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. Now 
here's Bryant to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. After the interception, here's Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. Jermaine Kurz with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Here's Bryant for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21 to 6. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have.